Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hello. How is everything? Good. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Adriana. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, did you work today? Yes, I worked today. All right, how was it? Difficult, easy? Uh, in this day, uh -huh. it's easy because uh, it's relaxing compared with the final days of the month because I account them. So, in closing months, it's very difficult. But it's very difficult. Yeah, but now. now Yes. Relax. Yes. You you were working from your house, you doing some home office, or you got to, you went to the office. I am in go, I am in home office. Oh, okay, good. So you didn't go out. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, Jessica, did you go out today? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. I I got out all the pandemic. <laughs> oh really? Where do you yes. work? Um, the place or the company? The company. Ah, the company Valdez. Ah, okay. Yes, you were working from selling, yeah. selling, sell, selling, selling uh, equipment, right? Yes. Okay, so you you had to go out every day. Well, at uh, least in the during the quarantine. <laughs> when the starts the quarantine. Uh, oh, I had home office, oh, but okay. in in May mm -hmm. I start to travel all days. Okay, and you didn't have problems? Uh, no. Okay, but with the authority and everything. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now you are then you are used to travel then. Okay. All right, so let's see who do we have here. We have George, also Sergio. Okay, let me see. Yesterday we were practicing with the uh, relative closes, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you see that presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay, this is what we were practicing yes. yesterday, right? So we have the finding relative clauses necessary to the sentence. And if you see here, we have a, she's the candidate who won the context, okay, the context. Uh, and then you have also the non defined Okay, but right here. So we have relative clauses in Marvin, can you please read the first line? Okay. Relative clauses that give more information about a noun, person, place, object, idea in the sentence. Okay, good. So this is the important thing here, right? That when we use relative clauses, uh, we're gonna get more information, right? We're gonna get more information in just one sentence, right? So we don't have to go sentence by sentence. Like I was telling you yesterday, you know, just in one sentence, we can give extra information about a person, place, object, or idea. Okay, uh, Kevin, can you read the first example? Sure. Um, he's the man that scored the winning goal. Okay, very good. So he's the man, that or who, right? He's the man that scored the winning goal or he's the man who scored the winning goal. What is another way that we can say this? We can say, for example, uh, uh, let me see, for example, the uh, Jorge Gonzalez was the man, no, 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 it was not Jorge Gonzalez. It was the- Zapata. Zapata, yes, Zapata. Okay, thank you. Jose Luis, right? Jose Luis Zapata. Uh, Jose Luis Zapata was the man who scored the only goal that we have in the World Cups, right? 
Only one, right? And that's it. Yes, okay. only one. So he's uh, then Zapata is the, the man who scored the only goal that we have in the World Cups. Okay, so this is, you know, how we can give extra information and we are always talking about he, okay, about Zapata in this case, about one man. Okay, good. Sergio, can you read the next example, please? It's the hotel. Yes. Uh, hotel, which is in front of the beach, is quite expensive. Okay, good. Now, if you see the hotel, which hotel? The hotel that is in front of the beach. What happened with that hotel is quite expensive. Okay, if you see the, if we omit, which is in front of the beach, what happens? The hotel is quite expensive. Okay, the sentence makes sense with or without this part, okay? But if we want to give extra information, then we use it. The hotel, which is in front of the beach, that one is quite expensive. The restaurant, which is, uh, a, which is uh, let's see, uh, near the American Embassy, Okay, which is next, I mean, let me see, yes, is near the American Embassy, is quite expensive. Okay, then you have to think about the restaurants that are near there. Okay, then uh, this is how we use the extra information. What else? Let me see here. Relative clauses can begin with these words. Who? which and then uh, yesterday or in the program we don't have proofs but i think it's because i saw that yesterday you were using other other uh, words and i think it's good for you to know that when we're talking about who the woman who is in front of you the smells of garlic okay so you can say the woman that object the phone which is on the shelf is already broken or the phone that is on the shelf is already broken okay this is for people objects and whose is to indicate possession. the possession. possession okay the man whose wallet was stolen is very angry okay the man whose children, whose children broke the window is very angry with them. Okay, so then this is whose. What would be, how would you use whose in Spanish? Al mm -hmm. que? You are talking about the possession of uh -huh. a person. Yes, for example, the guy whose name I will not mention in this class is very intelligent. Okay? You got it? When you say cuyo nombre, the guy whose name I will not say. Okay? So then this is when we use whose, right? No problem? No problem. Okay. okay, so we have who? Yes? I have a question. Uh, in relative clauses, we only use these words. Or no, no. I have some words. others here that I will show you. Uh -huh. Because yesterday I saw that you were using them. Okay, automatically, you know, instantly you were using them yesterday. No, these are three, right? Who, which, whose. But this is, for example, when you're talking about a person, an object in here when you are talking about possession, right? And then here, for example, that object or person, the man that is in front of us, talks too much. The man that is in front of us 
is a famous actor. Okay, the man uh, that is in front of us uh, stole my car last night. Okay, and the door doesn't work. That, sorry, the door that doesn't work will be fixed tomorrow. The computer that is broken will be will be thrown to the garbage tomorrow. Okay, and here is the question. Look, now we can also use where when we're talking about a place. The cafe where we met is being turned down. Okay, when when we talking about time. The month when we met was very rainy, okay? The moment when we, okay, uh, met was very rainy. So you can use also, uh, well, that, where, and when. So you see we have extra who, when, where, and mostly you can use uh, the reason why, the reason why, I brought this presentation is for you to see that there are more examples, not only the, the ones that we have in the lesson, okay? So you can also use why. But and there are many, right? So only, that's what I told you yesterday, that there are other uh, kind of clauses. For example, look at this one. This is the one that we are studying in this moment. She's the this candidate, one. this one. Okay. She's the candidate who won the context. The context, okay? Then something that is defined. And this one is another one that you will see after when we give extra information about the noun. For example, if you omit the phrase Ooh. in the commas, mm. you say, my friend is stopped by the class today. No problem. The sentence makes sense. You say, my friend. But if you want to give more information, okay, which friend or oh, who are you talking about? Oh, my friend who is an architect is stopped by the class today. Okay, if you know that I have two brothers, one that is uh, here in El Salvador and I am another one that is in China, then I will tell you my brother who is in China, okay, will come to El Salvador or will come to visit next Monday. So I am telling you, I am being more specific about which of my two brothers is coming, okay? To visit next, uh, next month. So this is another kind using the commas. In this one that we are studying right now, we don't use the commas. It's just a uh, relative close, just given the information about the same person. She's the candidate. Is she is the same person here with the con uh, who won the contest? That's what I was telling you last night. That the person that you are talking about here is the same person after who? She's the candidate. She won the contest. Okay, she is the candidate who won the contest. Questions? No. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, for example, the comma is not necessary if, if you don't want to give more information. In this case, no. In this case, no. Okay, we use the comma here. And you see, there are two commas. So these okay. commas are like the parentheses, right? That is yes. a, it's an information that we insert but if you take that information out, nothing happens, right? Is the, the 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 sentence is a still a, a still makes sense, right? A sentence still makes sense. My friends is stopped by the class. But the that information is an important. We can use the commas too. I guess. Yes, if it is necessary. Okay, if it is necessary, you you have to you have to give. For example, uh, I don't know. Let me think about For one example. Uh -huh. My friend who is a mechanic, 
fixing my car. Uh -huh, exactly. Because I say, you know, my friend fixed, uh, if, suppose that if you, if you only say, uh, my car broke down, but luckily my friend fixed it. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. In that case, it's not some information that we know that your friend fixed your car because you had a problem, but we don't know if he's a mechanic. Okay. Mm -hmm. You say my car broke, and but luckily my friend, who is a good mechanic, who is an excellent mechanic, right, fixes it for me. And then you are mm -hmm. telling the re then you are telling the rest that you have a friend. He is a mechanic. And he also fixed your car. You see all the information? I have a friend. He's a mechanic. He fixed my car. In one sentence. My friend who is a mechanic fixed my car. Okay? okay. So that's, that's the idea here. In that case, you know, it would be good. But also if you want. Okay? Remember that this is your information. Sometimes you can say only. But sometimes what happens is that people always ask you. Okay, is your friend a mechanic? Oh no, he's. Oh, you can say no, he's not. But you know, he was there, and I don't know what he touched, but he fixed it. That can also happen, right? So there is another possibility. Okay. Yes. Because you can say, my friend, who is not a mechanic, miraculously fixed my car. <laughs> okay. I mean, you see, you can use all it's the. A, it, it's a cherry pong. Uh huh. Exactly. No, it could happen, right? No, it was just by coincidence that the guy died. Teacher. Yes. Uh, yesterday I needed a lot of money, but my friend, who is a rich, he lent me yesterday. Now you don't have to say my friend who is rich. You have to just have to say Ronnie who is rich. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ronnie, no, who is a rich friend. Yeah. He, he. Yes. You know. Uh, yesterday I needed money. But my friend, who is a rich guy, who is a rich man, lent me the money I needed. Yes. My friend, who is my classmate, English. My English classmate. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. My English. My, my friend, who is money. my English don't classmate, <laughs> whose name I don't want to say. Okay. <laughs> you can you can mix them but up. You, you don't use, know. But you know. <laughs> you, you can use uh, what is it? I lost it. Uh, who's okay? You can use who's, who's. Uh, who's. okay. Mm -hmm. You can say my friend, who is a rich man, in whose name I don't want to say. <laughs> okay, <laughs> help me with that problem. Yes, you know, you you see, you can. The idea is to organize, right? To organize the information mm -hmm. and deliver that information in a clear way. Okay, and that is the the objective, or that is the the usage. Of this uh, of these sentences, right? They give more information about a noun, a person, place, or object, or idea. Okay. So this is, you know, when we want to make ideas very clear, and we want to express our thoughts, our information, in a good way, in a clear way. All right. Questions in this moment, anybody? No. All right. Okay. Then let me. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, good. Oh, yes, here it is. Okay, so we have the... Just let me... Okay, so this one, then we have the magic of order. Oh, let's see the knowledge check. Let's 
Okay, good. So we have four sentences here. Uh, George Lemons, would you please read the uh, instructions here? Okay, teacher. Structure, structure, rewrite answer using relative clauses. Remember, you may use who or that for people, for people and which or that for things. Okay, just remember the rule, right? Then uh, Guadalupe, I think Guadalupe is here, yes? Yes. Guadalupe, would you please read the first one? Read the first uh, sentence here. Okay. Who is Ang Lee? He is a movie director. He made the film Hulk. Okay. What could be an answer here? He's a movie director who made the film Hulk. Okay, he is a movie director who made the film Hulk. Who made who made the film Hulk. 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 Okay, thank you. All right. Hi, Mayor Franco. What about the second one? Yes. How do you hear of pirates of the Caribbean? Yes, it is a macho movie. It starts your mm -hmm. How do we put these two sentences together? Yes, it's an action movie that starred Johnny Depp. It's an action movie? That starred Johnny Depp. That stars. Stars. Yes. Like that, right? Yes. Journey that. Okay, good. Don't forget the period. Okay, thank you. Journey that. Thank you. Okay, good. Then uh, Beatrice, number three. Beatrice, don't leave us alone. She's always there. Okay, she went for a coffee, maybe. <laughs> okay. I'm here, teacher. Oh, yes, yeah, there you are, you see? Good. Yes. Waxicao so, yes. is a musical about a girl. She becomes a celebrity. Okay. Then? Um, is uh, Chicago is a musical? Okay. Well, uh -huh. it's in the same, no problem. It's musical. Okay. Uh -huh. That becomes a celebrity. That becomes oh, that. Oh, it's a musical. It's a music about, right? About girl. Who it's a musical about, about girl. About, about a girl. Who, that who, become or. Yeah, because here the girl and she is the same subject, right? Yeah. Who about a girl? Who become? Uh -huh. who, becomes, who becomes? Becomes. A who becomes a celebrity? Uh, a celebrity. Okay, very good. Celebrity. Okay, nice. Okay, there are two things. That one was one, and here you can write Chicago is a musical, or you can all, only use it because it is for Chicago. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, uh, Eve, are you there? Hello, Hi. Yes. Can you read this one, number four? Four. Did you enjoy John Hinsham's late novel? Yes. It was a great book. It was hard to put down. Okay. Then the answer in one sentence? Yes, 
it was a great book. It was uh -huh, a great book. It's, that is was uh -huh. no that was hard to put down. That was hard to put down. Okay. A nice I Yes, I feel it, right? Okay, there we are. Now let's see our answers. In the first one is a movie director who made the film Hulk. A movie director who made the film Hulk, okay? Or oh, he's a movie director that made, no problem. Okay, number two, it's an action movie that starts Johnny Depp. Yes, it's an action movie which starts Johnny Depp or yes, it's an action movie that starts Johnny Depp. Okay, the only thing I didn't write it was yes. Okay. The other one is, it's a musical about a girl who becomes a celebrity. No problem. And the last one? Yes, it was a great book that was hard to put down. And that is the second option. You can use which or you can use that. All right. Questions? We're clear. Okay, we're clear, yeah. right? So then the no question. Excellent. And then we have the magic of Potter. Okay, the magic of Potter. So then uh, here, a, let me see. Yesenia, can you please read the instructions here? Teacher, in this case, uh, I think the, the the reading doesn't match with the with the questions. Okay, very good. Let me see where do the sentence belong. Perfect. Yeah, when when you, you read, read the to scoop. Uh -huh. Okay, let's read. Yeah, and yes, let's because yeah, you, you will you have. Could uh -huh. You could read the the, the whole uh, document, and you can. But the paragraphs uh, don't match. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's correct. So here we yeah, have the, 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 the paragraphs the match, but the information it is exact. Not, it, it isn't exactly it, that. Yes. It's that not you, a same. Uh, okay. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. But then, uh, and did you answer that in your? Uh, uh, when you answer it, it gave you the uh, wrong. I, I I can answer the all the questions, but. Uh, figuring out uh, the yeah. most uh, close uh, reading in, in, in each paragraph. Okay, good. Well, then no let's much. read it. Let's read it and then let's find the. Well, the idea is also to find the, the vocabulary, the structures, and then after we see if we can solve it out, right? Okay, thank you. Now, let's see. Okay, okay then. Uh, well, then, Yesenia, please read the instructions. Okay. Uh, uh, read the article. Where do, those, do this sentence below? Choose the number of the paragraph uh, where each sentence could go. Could go, right? But this is what you said that doesn't match. Okay. All right, Cecibel, can you please read the, the first paragraph? Yes, there was a time when no one knew the name Harry Potter. Now the adventures of this extraordinary student at Hogwarts, a school of witchcraft and wizardry, I read in over 45 languages. 
including Russian, Thai, and even ancient Greek. No one can explain the Harry Potter phenomenon, not even J.K. Rowling, this creator. His creator. Actually, it's not his, it's her. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, now uh, let me see. Uh, Adriana, can you read the second one? Yes. J.K. Rowling was born in England in 1965 from a young age. She knew she wanted to be a writer. When she was six, she wrote her first story about a rabbit that gets sick. At the school, she used to make up stories to tell, to tell her friends. Okay, very good. Now, any questions about vocabulary so far in these two paragraphs? No. No, okay, good. Thank you. Uh, now, let's see Guadalupe. Read the number three. Okay. After, okay. After graduating from college, she worked as a secretary, but she didn't give up her dream. She spent her lunch hour writing stories, maintain, uh, mainly for the adults. Mm -hmm. Continue. Then. In 1990, on a train trip, then in 1990, on a train trip to London, she got the idea for the boy wizard. She says he just appear in her head. She soon created a whole cast of unique characters to help Harry battle two forces of the darkness. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, uh, Laura, can you read number four? She keep working on a story while yep. she was teaching English in Portugal where she married, had her first child, and divorced a year later. When she returned to England, she brought back a suitcase of Harry Potter stories. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, uh, Xiomara, can you read the number five? Okay. After returning home, she was broke and living in a small, cramped apartment. She continued writing and in 1995, finished the first book in the series, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It write published in 1997 and become an unexpected bestseller. Bestseller, okay, good. And Jonathan, number six. Rolling life. Okay, okay. Rolling's life has changed dramatically. She has become internationally famous and now earns, uh, now earns around 40 millions a year. She remarried, had a second child, and currently life lives 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 in Scot Scotland. Scotland. Okay, very good. All right, so then any questions about vocabulary, people? Doubts? Have you seen these movies? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. So, some people love them, right? Some people really like them. Because, uh, no, I like some parts, but too much fantasy, not too much uh, uh, science fiction. Sometimes for me, in my opinion, is boring. Okay, but some people just love it. Okay, let's see and let's figure out what uh, you were saying. Okay, uh, Jose Armando, can you read the first sentence here? Sure. Is the number here? She hate number one. Number one. She hate. She hate going to a shoe. A school, I mean. Uh -huh, yes, it's a school. I always love it, love to read. Okay, then. 
Okay, Sergio, this is what you were saying, right? So according to the reading, this should be... Right. The, the, only, the, the only paragraph then in where uh, they talk about the school period of, the, of that girl is in the second paragraph. Uh, okay. So I think this is the, 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 the right answer. She wanted to be a writer when she was six. She wrote her first story about writing. At the school, she used to make up the stories to tell her friends. Uh-huh, yes. Well, let's see. Number two, right? Number two, right. Okay, if anybody has a different opinion, just write it, and then after, when we check the answers, you, know, you can see if you were right or not. Okay, good. Uh, Kevin, read the number two. When asked. Okay. Uh, when asked about the, this popularity, 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 she said, I really wrote, I, I really wrote it for myself. Okay, I really wrote it for myself. Wrote it for myself. Okay, which paragraph? Uh, let me see. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. What it's about. Uh, I keep working for her. After returning, she living in complex. She comes in the right now. Wow. Uh, do I think? Mm -hmm. Two. 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 was born in England around uh, from your age. She went about the property she friends after graduating from she was about to get out. And then she disappeared in her head. She was number three. No, no. Uh, hey, Kevin. Yeah? Uh, may, may I help you? I think so is number three because uh, in the paragraph yeah. say, uh, she always uh, writes a uh, history in uh, when uh, when he takes her lunch. Number three. The paragraph of one. Oh, very nice. Okay, Robert. According to your opinion, Robert, number? Number one. I think it's not the final. Because in, in 21 paragraph, uh, like Okay, which one should I click? It, it could be the number one, too. Number one. Could be because everybody knows the, the, number, the number, the length of the book, not even okay. the. Oh, let's see, let's see what happens, right? Then. Yeah, because actually the information itself, like that, it says, when I asked about his popularity, she, uh, she has said, I really wrote it for myself. What is that I'm sorry, teacher, we have a lot of... <laughs> yes, I know the noises. That's noise, why. yes. I don't know just, if you can yeah, put mute. it on mute. Yes, just mute the, your microphone. Okay, yes, you're ready. Uh-huh. So then if you see... Yeah, for teacher, example, I think it's the, it's the first paragraph because it's the only paragraph in, in what uh, they talk about in, uh, her popularity uh, when it said uh, no one knew about her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably in that case, you know, she wrote it for herself. Yeah, but, but you, because you don't see, the thing is that in the paragraph or in the question, you see the expression, I wrote it for myself, but in the paragraph, you don't find it. So here you have to, uh, that's what it, uh, you have to infer, right? Yeah. This is infer, you know what they have meant. Okay, what about the number three? It says there were times when she couldn't even afford to eat. Okay, there were times that I she think uh -huh. paragraph, paragraph uh, five. Yeah. Paragraph five. five. After returning, she was broke and living in a small cramped apartment. Uh -huh. 
Yes, this one mentions about difficult problems, difficult economical problems. Yeah. Okay. But what about the next one? Number four. Despite the fame, her fame, in Fornion, she's being able to keep her private life. Number six. Number six. And now, after her marriage, she remarried. Number six. And to his life. Uh, and currently lives in Scotland. Let's see. Number six. Okay. And sorry. Number five. She didn't have a pen or paper with her, so she had to memorize it. Number three. Oh, yeah. Number three. College, she worked as a secretary, but she didn't give up at her dream. She spent her lunch hour writing stories. Then in 19, on a train trip to London, she got the idea for the boy wizard to set to say hey, to appear in her head. She okay. soon created a whole cast of unique characters. Okay. Yes, in three. Yeah, it could be number three. Fire of three. Could be, could be. Next one. It was filled with 10 versions of the first chapter of the book. It was filled. I think that is the more obvious of the six sixth one. Uh -huh. The last one, four. I think paragraph four. four. Uh -huh. So she kept working on the story while she was teaching English in Portugal. Where she married, had her first child, and divorced a year later. When she returned to England, she bought back, she brought back a suitcase of Harry Potter stories. Uh -huh. Number four? Okay. Okay, let's see. Two is two. One is one. Five is five. Six, six. Three and three. And four and four. You know, I was, uh, let me see here. A, here says, scan the article where, where was the author J.K. Rowling when she got the idea for Harry Potter? Okay, this is a, a scanning, but in here, the, where do the sentences belong? It doesn't say anything about inferring, okay? Do you, do you, do you remember the meaning of infer? Or the strategy. Uh, you suppose or assume something in base of uh, some information, but you don't can confirm that still. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. This is information that is between the lines. Okay. This is uh, this is what we say in Spanish: uh, read between the lines. Information sometimes that we will not find uh, literally right, or in the lines, is something that we have to interpret, right? So this is another uh, kind of information that you read and they say, okay, it doesn't say exactly that, but this is where you can fit this information, where you can find this information, okay? And this is what you just did, okay? Infer where each sentence belongs to. Okay. Then uh, I think it's clear with the vocabulary and the expressions, right? And the, and the reading exercise here. Okay, now we have the, well, you have the midterm, the midterm test. Okay, and now we're going to, did you answer the, did you complete the efforts, the midterm test? Not yet? No. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. Well, try it. And then, uh, because now you can, you, there is no more information about it. Okay. Now let's see the next one, which is a different topic. This is what it means. Okay, in this class, you will learn vocabulary for describing feelings and gestures. 
Okay. What kind of a calories could that be? More what? About, about, about mood? Love, hate. Moods, uh -huh, feelings. Yeah. Uh, words and like adjectives that describe, right? Uh -huh, the mood, different kinds of moods that we have. Sometimes in general, when you say, I am not in the mood, right? Something that I am not in that feeling to do something. Hey, let's go to play soccer. No, not today. I'm not in the mood. Okay, I don't feel like. Let's see how they approach this topic. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed, bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. Are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. Okay, here you remember that... Uh... Well, some people are very expressive, right? You know, when they like or when they don't like something, okay? Or, uh, for example, when they want to show, they said that when you look, I don't remember exactly that when you, uh, when somebody asks you a question and you look to the right, I think that you are preparing lying. to lie, right? And when you look to the left, it's when you are thinking and looking for the real information. Okay, yes. so then this is uh, this is something. Okay, he's looking. And they say, for example, he's uh, he's looking up, you know, to the right. It means that he's probably uh, thinking about a lie, right? And if you're doing to the left, it's because he's thinking and trying to remember the correct information. Okay, so this is something like that. He's biting his nails. He's okay. Here we have what? Uh, here, Gio, can you please read this introduction here? Hey. Hey, what is a man doing in each picture? Match each, each expression with a picture, then compare with a partner. Okay. Read the, read the sentences, please. Okay. Number one, he's biting his nails. Number two, he's rolling his eyes. Number three, he's scratching his head. Number four, he's tapping his foot. Number five, He's twirling his hair. Number six, he's wrinkling his nose. Okay. Now he's tapping his foot, you know. He's twirling his hair, right? Going like this. And he's wrinkling his nose. Okay. It's like, for example, what happened when you frown? No frown? Let me see. I don't, I don't see the chat. Okay. Do you know this word? Yes. From? Yes. From. Yes. This is when you when you do this, you know, between here your 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 eyebrows. Okay. When do we do this? When we are angry. When we are angry, right? When we are <laughs> angry. When we are angry, then we show it like that. You know, I don't like it. You know, what are you talking about? So then we. We frown it, okay? So then, and this one is wrinkling his nose, if you see like, just like this, mm -hmm. okay? So then these are some of the expressions. Uh, Adriana, can you please read the letter B the instructions here? Me, teacher, so Yes, Adriana. I... Yes, Adriana. Uh, group B, mm -hmm. World group. Use picture in part A and these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. 
Okay. Annoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. Bored, confused, disgusted, disgusted, disgusted. embarrassed, exhausted, frustrated, okay. impatient. Mm -hmm. I, stand, I don't know what I can it, say. Irritated, irritated. Irritated. And nervous. And nervous. Okay, so we have annoyed. Annoy is similar to be kind of angry, right? Something that you feel uncomfortable with. A bored, you know, when ah, same thing, you know, just you want to do a different activity. Confused, disgusted, embarrassed, you know, when we are ashamed. Exhausted, very tired. Frustrated, you know, when we cannot do something right and then uh, and we have tried very hard, maybe. Impatient, then irritated, to be something like being, you know, kind of angry too, right? And nervous, obviously, when we are expecting some, something, I mean, some news, right? And we are expecting something good or bad to happen. Okay, so in the first picture, he's curling his hair. He looks, Nervous. Okay, what do you do when you are nervous? What about you? What are your reactions when you are nervous? Anybody can maybe, share? Yes. I, I, maybe maybe writing the nails. nails. Uh, George you Lemons. The nails. Did you bite? You bite. I bite. 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 Well, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I don't know when we. If, he, uh, if you see the expression here is bite the nails right so there are there are some people that only bite okay yes. there are some people that cut the nails right cut. So, yes and i don't eat the nails uh -huh. i don't know this is what i don't know <laughs> do people really eat the nails i i cut it sometimes mm -hmm. but i don't uh but i don't eat it okay but uh yeah. i don't know do people eat it probably right probably so yeah. probably <laughs> Probably, yes. Okay, what else? But if you see, that's the difference, right? In English, the difference, in English we say he's biting his nails, in Spanish is está comiendo las uñas, right? So, but, uh, but the meaning of biting in English is just, you look like this, like, okay, but just nervous. Okay, what else? What else do you do? What else do you do when, when you are nervous? Is there another way that you show that you're nervous? Maybe, maybe love. La, okay. Yeah. Smile. Yeah, people, smile, right? Smile, smile, yeah, smile. Smiles. Yeah. You know, or, or uh, that's sweat. very, that's Some people very... sweat a lot. <laughs> huh? Some people sweat. Sweat, 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 sweat. 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 Some people sweat. Uh -huh. Yes, sweat. Yeah, yeah they, they have their hands uh, are sweaty. They sweat. Yeah. yeah. They sweat a lot. Yes, I don't know. Um, what else? I move my, my legs very quickly. And okay, fast. there are some other people that move their uh -huh, their legs very quickly, right? So, yeah, like if they are impatient too, right? And in this case, we can say, we, I shake my I legs. I shake my legs, uh -huh, yes. I shake my legs quickly. Mm -hmm. That is another one. What else? Smite. Uh, also, also, people walking around the place mm -hmm. okay people you know who moves around the place right you know impatiently the, waiting, the, right? impatient. side, the other side uh -huh. some other people that smoke the people who smoke okay they smoke more than usual okay you see there are different ways to to show you know nervousness okay good then uh in the first picture so the guy okay do well i see sometimes uh people doing this, right? That they are, you know, curling their hair, okay? Uh, but I don't know if women do it too, uh, because it's long hair. Do you do this when you are nervous, ladies? Like, with my hair, no, but with no. my ears, okay. I, I touch every, every moment. Your I ears? Touch. Yes. Your ears, right? Yes. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Anybody else? Maybe uh -huh. I move in a different 
place around where I am. Okay, so you you, you change positions, you move to different I, places. Yes. Uh, you change location. <laughs> okay, good. All right, good. What about this is the first picture, right? He's twirling uh, his hair. What about the second picture? What is he doing? Wrinkling his Wink. nose. Wink. Wrinkling, his nose. Uh -huh. his his nose. wrinkling his nose. He's wrinkling his nose. What does it mean? Uh, maybe he don't like it. Uh, uh -huh. Something? Probably he doesn't like something, right? Mm -hmm. Or in what other case do we do this? When do we do this? When do you do this? Especially? Maybe he's annoyed, maybe. Okay. Also, you know, oh. when something smells it's bad. Sounds bad. Something, when something smells bad or that you it's don't like. Bad. Okay, because sometimes, yeah. you know, there is a perfume sometimes or a lotion. Uh-huh. Wrin yes. uh, wrinkling is a uh, move the nose, but uh, no, it's like, like, like you know, like you know, like when you frunzir. uh huh, exactly, right? Uh -huh. Like frown, frown. Like, just like frown. Yeah. Yes, yes. And we do this especially, we know, when, when we don't like a special, uh, uh, let's say, the smell mm -hmm. that is an odor that we don't like so much, then it oh, no, smells bad. And sometimes it's not because it's bad, it's just that you don't like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are some people that there is some, uh, some, uh, let's say, uh, perfumes that they don't like and they go like, oh, she smells. Mm -hmm. But probably it's a nice smell, probably. Okay, but this is just our expression. He feels annoyed or probably what? Maybe uh, have a, a pain, a pain. Uh, a pain? Oh, yes, uh, also, right? Yes, ouch. Yeah, but. Yes, when you hit the, oh. when you are when you are barefoot in your house, okay. When you are barefoot in your house and then you hit the the leg of the table, yes. you know, with with, with mm. your finger, with a little <laughs> finger, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it hurts a lot. Okay, what about the letter C? It's confusing. Confused. Yeah. Confused. Okay. Confused. This is when you are uh -huh. rolling, rolling his, his eyes. eyes. Yeah. He's rolling his eyes, right? This is when sometimes we might be, uh, yes, probably confused. Uh, maybe or thinking, of, thinking, thinking, thinking about thinking about something. Thinking about something. You know, there is a moment that you feel like you know frustrated because you look this, you look that way, you look everywhere and you don't find the answer of what you're looking for, right? So then, uh, but it's confused. Yes, you know, when you are rolling your eyes. This is when what you, is look, you look this, when you look this way, you look the other way, or you look up, okay? Usually when you look up is when you are, let me, let me see, let me think. This is when mm. we are thinking, right? Thinking. Uh -huh. sure. And then to the left, I think is to look for information. And to the right, I don't remember exactly the, the size. But to the other side is when we are preparing or uh, thinking about a lie that we're going to say. Yes. yes you then invent a history. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, invent, yes, to make up, to make up a story. Yes, to make up a story to, to one side. And that's what we do, we lie. And to the sure. other side is looking for information. Yes? Who say? Sure. Jaime. Okay, Jaime, go ahead. Tell okay. me. Maybe the main is uh, thinking about which uh, gift to choose for the father of us tomorrow. Oh, yes, that's probably, you know, <laughs> thinking about his father, his father, or probably he's a father and thinking about what is my son give, going to give me tomorrow. <laughs> okay, yes. Oh, what, what is my mobile phone? Uh, whatever, yes, what is my, my mobile phone, you know, my, my cell phone, yes. Good, good, good. Next one. What about this one? He's beating his nails. He's biting his nails, right? He's biting mm. his nails and they must be chocolate fingers. Yeah. Okay, when do we do this? When we are nervous. Nervous. Yeah. Frustrated, right? Like yeah. you don't know what to do. Yes. Uh, the next one? 
his typing his food. Yeah, typing. Uh -huh. Question. His tapping, yeah. tapping his food. food. You know, remember the tap is a dancing, right? It's a yeah. dance. Yeah. You know, like Shirley Temple in the long time ago. And they say tap. So tapping his foot. Okay. So then when somebody's doing this, you know, tapping his foot, you can say, hey, come on, man, relax. Take it easy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then uh, when do we do that? When we are? Impatient. Impatient. Or somebody said that you shake legs, right? Also, you're shaking your legs, you know, and then you're moving. So that's another way to show that you are impatient. And the last one, here. Yes, He's twirling his hair. Uh, scratching, his scratching his hair. Scratching, right? Yeah. This is scratching. the first one. Is scratching twirling. his hair. And this is a scratching, right? Scratching. Scratching okay. Hair. But when do we scratch our head? It looks confused. Confused. Frustrated. Frustrated, yeah, yes. Maybe, maybe when you make a mistake. Uh-huh, exactly. Yes. And also when you are irritated, right? You know, when, for example, you fix something and, and, then, uh, and <laughs> it doesn't work and then you go, oh my God, what did I do? You know, it's, or, you know, then you scratch your hair like you want to pull your hair. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so those are, you know, reactions that we have. So those are, that's what they call it. The feeling is what you don't, what we don't see. Okay, what we see is the gesture. Yes. Okay, but we can read, we can read the feeling. Okay, when you see all this, when you see a person doing this, is because he inside is feeling something and he demonstrated in that way. Okay, so this is what they talk about feelings and gestures. And as you see, it's very similar to the things that we do in Spanish. Rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed, bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. Okay, and there we have. Okay, so then uh, Fernandez says, in this class you will listen, practice, and learn about body languages using models and adverbs. So we have, let me see this one last. Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay. So you see, for example, this is uh, how, how do we show when we agree with another person, when the person is speaking. He said they move the uh, head side to side in this case, but what do we do in Spanish? I mean, in El Salvador. We only nod. Okay, we know. We said, oh yeah. So we usually do this. Okay, when the people are speaking, we go like this, it's because we agree with that idea. Okay? All right, guys. So then this is what we are going to be practicing tomorrow, right? This conversation that we just uh, listened to and uh, gestures and feelings. Okay, I'm going to bring some more gestures and feelings for you to, to increase your vocabulary. Okay? Uh, any questions? Oh, well, by the way, tomorrow somebody asked me, okay, yes, they say that we have normal classes tomorrow, okay? 
so then uh, they don't have a father, so then, <laughs> so then uh, they, you know, when they don't celebrate the mother, then they say they don't have a mother, right? And then, okay, but in this case, they don't have a father. No. So they say that we have normal classes tomorrow, okay? So then, uh, okay. So okay, teacher. I'll see you okay. tomorrow here at the same time, nine sure. o'clock. Yes? Let's take. Can you please uh, share the the presentation? presentation. The first. Oh, the, uh, of course. Yes, sure. Yeah. I'll send mm -hmm. it to you right away as soon as I finish the class. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, okay people. Have a good night. I will have see Have a good you night, tomorrow. everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night.